Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you a very aggressive attacking game played by Chinese chess grandmaster and three-time women's world chess champion Hu Yifan. Her opponent is a Ukrainian chess grandmaster and former women's world chess champion Maria Muzichuk and this game was played in 2017 at Tradewise Gibraltar tournament. Now let's see what happened on the board. Huifan started the game with knight f3 and d5 by Muzichuk, c4, c6 and b3. White is preparing to think it to her dark squared bishop, which is later going to put pressure on black's king side. Typical setup is becoming very popular nowadays, which is a very tricky way of sidestepping the main theoretical battle. Knight f6, bishop b2 and bishop g4. Usually in typical setups, white is also fianchetto to incur dark squared bishop. That's why with this bishop g4 move, black is like acting against g3 move, because in here g3 can be met with bishop takes f3. That's why after bishop g4 in the game we see e3, knight d7, bishop e2, e6, h3, bishop h5, knight c3, bishop d6, d3, h6, a3, and after castling king side, we first started an immediate attack on the king side. g4 is on the board. Bishop g6, now comes rook g1, the rook is going to support the g pawn e5, this time h4. Huifan has chosen a very aggressive line, but let's see what's going to happen next. d takes c4, d takes c4, the bishop is hanging, we see knight c5, now comes g5, in return we see e4, knight d2, h takes g5, h takes g5, and knight h7. Well, after knight h7, white is managing to gain advantage by a beautiful tactical shot and in here Huifan went for knight takes e4 move. Instead of knight h7, it was better to play knight d7 and now if knight takes e4 then black can play bishop e5 and after the exchange of knights on c5 if b4 then knight e4 and then if knight takes e4 then queen takes d1 check and then bishop takes b2 and then bishop e5. Though again in this line white managed to win a pawn but the powerful bishop pair is compensating the pawn loss. But in the game after h takes g5 we see knight h7 and after knight takes e4 white is simply winning a pawn and there is no compensation for black. Knight takes e4 and knight takes e4. In here Muzichuk played bishop e7. But let's see what if bishop takes e4 then in this case white can play queen d4. And if queen a5 check then b4, if queen e5 then white can exchange the queens on e5. And in the end of the day white has both a powerful bishop pair and also an extra pawn. That's why after knight takes e4 we see bishop e7, bishop d3 and bishop takes g5. Looks like that black managed to win back the lost pawn but this taps into a neat combination. Instead of bishop takes g5, knight takes g5 could have given black better chances, although even in this case, in the end of the day, white is managing to gain a huge advantage and fighting for a draw is going to be extremely difficult for black. But in the game after bishop d3 we see bishop takes g5. Now comes queen c2 and after queen e7 we see knight takes g5. Knight takes g5 and bishop takes g6. White is allowing knight f3 fork. Knight f3 check is on the board, king e2. A powerful move. White is allowing black to win the rook on g1 with a check. But now the second rook is coming. Rook takes g1. And after f takes g6, we see queen takes g6. And right now there is too much pressure on g7. Rook f7 was played, but this time white is starting to harass black king from h1 square. Rook h1, the threat is queen h7, queen h8, checkmate. Queen e8 was played, black is opening up and escaping root for the king, but queen h7 is on the board. King f8 and rook h4. The rook is coming to join the attack from the fourth rank. For example, right now if rook d8 then white can announce a check from h8 and then can win the queen. 
in the game after rook h4 we see queen c8 but again this can't help black rook e4 is on the board after which Muzichuk resigned if rook f6 then white can also munch this rook and then queen e7 check and then queen takes f6 if queen d7 then here even this simple rook e7 is winning there is not much black can do that's why after rook e4 Maria Muzichuk resigned a very impressive game I think just from the opening Kui fans started the game very aggressively didn't even castle in this game but launched a devastating attack on the king side and managed to beat her opponent in style thanks for watching I hope that you enjoyed this game for more games consider subscribing to my channel I will see you in the next video